Hey guys, this is Adrian in from Odeo, and we're going to go over the features of the Easy Arrow script for After Effects. So what the script does is attach a default arrow or any custom object to the head and tail of a shape layer stroke. If you click on the arrowhead layer, you'll see we have some built-in controls, including the completion, the length of the stroke, and the ability to lock the end of the stroke so that when the arrow moves forward, the end will stay still. But with that checked, you will have manual control over that endpoint. You can also offset the stroke from your object. And you can also reverse directions along your path. And two new features are controlling the width of the stroke, which also controls the arrowhead in proportion. And an easy way to update the color of the arrowhead and stroke right from the effect control panel. So let me show you how easy it is to use the script. I'm gonna create a new composition. All you need to do is start drawing and After Effects will create a shape layer path for you. You can either complete it or not. And with your shape layer path selected, you'll go over to the Easy Arrows control panel and you'll have a few options here. You can either check this box to create an end tail and you can also pre-comp all of the Easy Arrows layers into a new composition, which can be handy for making multiple copies. So go ahead and create that. So now you see we have an arrowhead on the front and end of this stroke. Now let's say you want to make a change to your shape layer path after you've run the script. All you need to do is go to your shape layer, go to the path, and you can make your changes. The arrows will temporarily be out of alignment. But once you're happy with the new position, just go back to the script UI panel with your shape layer selected and click update arrow. And now they'll be properly aligned again. Now it's also possible to use custom graphics and pre-comps with easy arrows. All you need to do is create a shape layer and then with it selected, hold shift and select your graphic layer and then click create easy arrow. Now it's gonna turn it solid white because by default we do have the generate fill layer effect on. So we'll just toggle that off. And a couple weird things happen when you're using custom graphics. First, you need to edit the anchor point because this is how it is attached to the stroke. If we animate it along, you'll see it's actually reversed because Easy Arrows doesn't know which way is forward. So we'll just need to rotate it, adjust the anchor point, get it right, and it looks like we're gonna need to flip it. So I'm gonna do a negative 15 on the scale. Got that flipped, and now it is properly oriented along the stroke. And with the arrowhead layer selected, you can actually still pre-comp all of the layers by selecting pre-comp layers and then clicking update arrow and the script will move all of your layers into its own pre-comp and this is handy for being able to go into your project panel duplicate this a few times you can make changes without having to manually create um, a bunch of new setups well guys that's the basics of the easy arrow script for after effects i hope that's helpful and i hope to see you again next time